Spider-Man No Way Home racked up a head-spinning $253 million in North American ticket sales over the weekend, setting a pandemic record and ranking as the third biggest U.S. film debut in Hollywood history. Fans packed auditoriums for No Way Home, a big-budget superhero spectacle that is playing only in theaters, delivering a much-needed jolt to movie theater chains even as the fast-spreading Omicron variant threatened to keep people home. U.S. and Canadian ticket sales crushed the most optimistic projections from last week when analysts deemed $200 million a long shot. The movie stars Tom Holland as Marvel's web-slinging superhero and Zendaya as his girlfriend MJ. It also brings back stars of previous Superman films. Hello, Peter. The movie's success underscores the continuing pull of superhero-based films at cinemas when other genres have struggled. Steven Spielberg's remake of classic musical West Side Story, for instance, which has earned rave reviews and Oscar buzz, sold just $3.4 million worth of tickets in the U.S. and Canada over the weekend. Its global total stands at just over $27 million after two weekends in theaters. According to estimates from distributor Sony, the opening weekend take for Spider-Man No Way Home stands at a hefty $587 million worldwide. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap.